Brains and welcome to episode 12 of the Dyna Build Series and it's going to be the first build series in the new garage. Now I have been so excited to get back to work on this bike. It has been, feels like forever. It's probably only been about a month or two, but after, you know, having a build series come out every couple of weeks, a month or two does feel like forever. So a lot of exciting things going on today. We're doing a total of four modifications. Uh, one of them is kind of like a modification-ish. But first, before we get to that, I want to thank our sponsor for this episode. No strangers to sponsoring the build series, and that's going to be Get Lowered Cycles. Get Lowered Cycles, of course, your one-stop shop for everything Harley and Harley related. They are constantly adding new products to the store. Uh, these guys have just been a huge support to the channel, so I want to extend just a thank you to them, and I hope you guys do the same. Uh, let them know that Bike and Bird sent you. If you also join the top level Patreon, you also get an exclusive discount to that store as well on pretty much every product they have. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and click the Patreon link down below. But enough of that, let's get to what we're actually putting on the bike today. So first things first, uh, something I've been wanting to do on the bike for a long time and thankfully I don't get that many comments about it because people don't usually see it, but uh, it's going to be a new derby cover. This is the Roland Sands design uh, I can't remember the name of this one, but it's it's clear if you can see that. It's see-through, so you're actually going to be able to see inside the motor. Now, before you old heads go ahead and start commenting, you know I love you guys, but I feel like it's almost my job to bring you back into uh, the 21st century. Yeah, 21st century. Roland Sands does not make crappy products. They make really good products. They put a lot of R&D into their products. That's why they're so expensive. But um, if you know it was a $30 RSD knockoff, I'd be saying, yeah, I don't want that clear piece of plastic on my bike. But RSD, Roland Sands Designs, makes great products, and everyone that I've talked to that's had that derby cover has zero issues, and I don't expect to have any myself. After we do the derby cover, we're gonna move on to the Drag Specialties floorboard mounts. Now, this isn't really a floorboard mount as much as it is passenger peg mounts. Uh, this is gonna be going on, of course, the passenger pegs for the back. I hope, I'm pretty sure, I didn't actually look before I started this episode. I'm pretty sure I've got some pegs somewhere. Aha, I do. Yeah, I've got the stock ones from the Dyna, so I'll probably be using these. As most of y'all know, Miss Bird is still kind of in the process of learning how to ride, so I went ahead and bought these just because it is getting to the summer months and we are starting to ride a little bit more. So if we're doing like a short ride down to dinner or something like that, I want her to be able to ride on the back with me on the Dyna. And then I also might be looking into maybe a um, like a sissy bar or a backrest, something of that nature for her in the future. But apparently they're not very popular for Dynas, at least for the removable ones. I don't want something that's gonna be on the bike fixed on there, I want something I can take on and off easily. Got a couple things uh, in mind, but some of them are gonna require more modification than I'm ready to do right now, but that's probably gonna be in another episode. Moving on to mod number three. This is the one that I said was kind of an ish mod. I wouldn't call it a ish mod. That, that sounds funny. Uh, I wouldn't really call it a mod per se, but it's going to be grip tape. Now, when I uh, booped Roadblock for dominance, as you guys know, my crash bar did get a little bent. The bend is, I mean, it's not that noticeable. It looks a lot worse on camera because this is a wide angle lens. But as you can see, it kind of curves off this way, which I actually don't mind because thanks to this uh, air cleaner, yes, I do know I'm missing a, a screw, so please don't comment that. Uh, k &N is very hard to work with when it comes to replacement parts, but um, I'm not too sure how long this is gonna be staying, but once again, that's for another episode. But back to the grip tape. The reason that I went ahead and got grip tape is because now that this bar is is bent, I don't mind it because it brings this bar closer to my leg, which makes it easier for me to put my foot up on. The, the thing I don't like about it is it's now extremely hard for my foot to stay on here. It wants to kind of slide down. So I went ahead and got this uh, Gator Grip grip tape. This is the same grip tape I actually used to run on my longboards back in my hippie days. Uh, and it's really good stuff. I'm hoping that I can uh, get it to stick to this metal. I'm gonna, of course, scuff it up a little bit, give it a nice service to grab onto. But I'm gonna do it on both sides and hopefully that solves that issue. 
And then last, but certainly not least, I I'm, I'm wasn't clear about this in the beginning, so let me kind of take a step back. The derby cover and the passenger pegs were from Get Lowered. Those were actually supplied to me from Get Lowered. Uh, the grip tape I bought on my own off of Amazon. Uh, links for all those are gonna be down in the description. But uh, the last mod that I'm actually somewhat, I don't know, I, I'm kind of tied with the derby cover is a custom, uh, either point or timing cover. I'm not sure what uh, I'm pretty sure it's called a timing cover But it, they're also referred to as point covers sometimes. So um, yeah, this I mean as you can see This has my my logo on it. Um, I reached out to a company called custom chopper covers I believe uh, they did not want to sponsor the episode. They were not about it at all uh, Didn't respond to me at all which happens kind of pestered them for about six months. They weren't having it uh, but I said, you know what? I need something else to fill this episode, so screw it. I'll just pay full price. Thankfully, the guy was able to work with me because I did tell him, like, hey, you haven't been the best. Can you get this to me quick? And he's like, yeah, sure, no problem. He did get it to me quick. I ordered it on Thursday. It was in my mailbox on Monday. So super fast. I don't know if that's normal for you just help me out. But uh, it looks really good. If you notice, it is a little off-center. I, I asked him about that, and he said that on the Dynas, he does it on purpose because of this. If you look at the uh, the timing cover here, um, you can see the 103 is actually centered in there. So when you put that on, it looks off center, but when you're looking at the bike straight on, it's not in the way of the uh, the brake pedal. So he said that's that's the reason why he usually offsets the designs a little bit to the top to avoid them getting cut, o cut off when looking at it straight on. Don't know how true that is. That could be complete BS, but it's believable to me. So uh, I'll take it. So guys, there you have it. Enough of me blabbering. I know you guys are probably excited to get to this build. Probably not as excited as I am though because I'm also the first time using the new garage. I already mentioned that, but also the first time using the new lift. In case you guys missed the first episode a uh, red line stands was nice enough to send out this lift for us to use for the continuation of the build series I've gotten a little bit of use out of it from uh, the Sportster build series and then just a little stuff I've done off camera but uh, check this thing out in action It's pretty badass. Um, I've been very happy with this this uh, lift so far. Uh, everything is operating exactly how it should. A great lift, especially for the price. So if you're uh, interested in getting one of these for yourself, I'm also going to include the link for this lift down in the description. It's the perfect, um, how would I say, it's the perfect consumer grade, but also with the professional quality. So it's not too expensive, so it's not going to break the bank too much. But if you're someone that's working on your bike pretty consistently, I'd highly recommend picking one up. So uh, I'm going to wait for the rest of the guys to get here. Uh, if you don't know, the OGs usually come over during the build series and hang out on our live stream that we do for the patreon so as soon as they get here we're going to start the live stream and get to work look who it is it's team bradley also we got roblox here in case uh we just started the live stream so all of our folks over on patreon say hello 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 i already told you guys what we're doing uh these are here now so let's get to work let's do it let's get to work took literally all of 10 minutes. That was a stupid easy install. Uh, as you saw, hopefully, I did put a new gasket on. The uh, RSD does come with a new gasket. Um, it also comes with new hardware, which I also used. One thing that I'm sure the internet mechanics will point out, I did not use a torque wrench on this. It's because you need an inch pounds torque wrench, which I don't have, but it needed 18 inch pounds, which 
probably is just one eh, half an uh, and that's pretty much what I put on it. Uh, I'll keep an eye on it. I know Donnie's gonna be like, I had that tool, but you never know, so. I did have that tool. <laughs> See. All right, so we're gonna move on to the other side and do the uh, timing cover. Yeah, let's go. Why the hell is that even a thing? That's just, just an accessory. That's just, just an accessory? Just an accessory. That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. All right, so that took all of 10 minutes. This I'm honestly not too impressed with. Let me show you why. So as you can see here, the, uh, hold on, focus you some bitch. So as you can see, the, uh, the cap doesn't sit flush, which is okay because as we just pointed out, there's no, there's actually nothing behind this. It's just an empty hole. Uh, so I'm not worried about any liquids or anything draining out of this, but it just doesn't sit right and you can see the, the exposed metal back behind it. Uh, I'm gonna contact the company, see if that is a normal issue. If not, I'll see if I can get a replacement. If it is normal, then this is just a shitty timing cover and I will not recommend them. I'll post a, uh, an update in the description. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the passenger peg mount and the passenger pegs. All right, so we went ahead and got the uh, passenger peg and passenger peg mounts put on. Uh, very simple, just these two bolts and the bolt through the peg. Uh, this peg was giving us a little bit of an issue. I'm sure you saw me hitting it with a mallet. Uh, the reason for that is it's not going all the way down. It's getting stopped on this little uh, stopper here. So that'll get worn down over time though, especially once we put uh, weight on it. So nothing we can really do about that now without uh, actually grinding it down. Can I help? Hi. Say hi, Miss Bird. Hi, Miss Bird. I swear, what I deal with, man. Bunch of freaking rookies. All right, so uh, done with the passenger pegs. Now the only thing we have left to do is the grip tape on the crash bar. So what I'm gonna do is get out some uh, fine grit sandpaper and kind of scuff it up a little bit, then clean it up with some acetone, and go ahead and try to get that grip tape to stick. So let's get to work.
So that was actually uh, pretty simple as well. It's been a build series with no issues. What the hell's going on? I guess that's what I have to do is just take a month or two in between the episodes and then nothing goes wrong. Maybe, I don't know. But uh, as you can see, went on perfectly. Uh, the adhesive was very good. <clears throat> The adhesive was very good. I don't think we're gonna have any issues of it coming off, and I think it's gonna increase the grip quite substantially. So, uh, like I said, I'm gonna put a link of that stuff down in the description, as well as the links of everything else I put on the bike. So, now what we're gonna do is uh, get the lift cleaned up, and get the bike down off the lift. Uh, Miss Bird's already out here, so we might as well test the passenger pegs while we're out here, and then uh, we'll wrap up the episode. So that's going to do it for today's build series episode. Uh, special shout out to Roblox, Donnie, Brad, and Miss Bird for uh, coming and hanging out, keeping the Patreons entertained on the chat. Thank you for everyone who stopped by on the Patreon chat to hang out with us. Uh, if you're interested in joining the Patreon, link is always down in the description below. And then once again, a huge shout out to Gil Over Cycles that uh, provided the um, derby cover and the passenger peg mounts. Chopper covers, like I said, hopefully I'll have an update by the time this video goes live. I'll put it uh, down in the description what ended up happening with that. And then uh, grip tape, man. If you have a, uh, a crash bar and you find yourself slipping off the crash bar, grip tape is the way to go. Uh, link for that down in the description as well. Other than that, guys, I don't know when the next build series is gonna be. We're getting to the point now where episodes are getting more and more expensive, so they're not gonna be able to come as frequently. Uh, but I did tell the guys today that the air cleaner will probably be getting changed out for multiple reasons. We'll talk about that later, though. And um, yeah, that's really the only thing on the the immediate horizon. Other than that, guys, I, if you have any uh, questions or comments, we'll go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and punch, punch that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. At least you didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> <laughs>